not. Um, today I'm, well, obviously I haven't been doing a lot lately, but um, I finally get back in the swing of things. And uh, today I have something really special. I started making a mod pack, you know, combining a whole bunch of mods into um, a mod pack. And I'm currently working on a lot of configuration files. Um, kind of balancing it out because I wanted to do this do a modded survival series with my friend however um, a lot of the mods have to be tested before they can be played right so that's what I'm going to do today I'm going to be playing you know just testing out mods making a new world and um, just going to call it uh, test 2 so everything is sort of in the or um I think pretty much place already. I just gotta uh test it out. Swim survival. I'm gonna turn cheats on, but uh, I won't be using any cheats. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to do it try to do it legit and um I have to show you all the mods I got. <laughs> I tons of mods, you saw the bottom corner, twenty one mods. Yeah. I don't know why I'm getting five frames, that's not very good. Um, this should be happening. This was working last night. I don't I don't understand why it's not working now. Um, I think it's gonna crash. I'll be right back once I get into the world. And we're back. <laughs> Okay, so after all that time, um, basically all I had to do was um, delete my entire directory and get a fresh one because I don't know what was going on. Mole Creatures was not cooperating at all. I tried like for 20 minutes just uh, getting all the updates and all that stuff. And anyways, so this is a mod that happens when you start up a game. It's called uh, The Tale of Kingdoms. Basically what you do is... Um, Basically what happens is it spawns a guild right around you, which should be... Oh! Right in front of me. <laughs> okay, that's the guild. Um, so basically what this is, is um, you do quests. Oh, I think just froze. There you go. Oh, what's this? Where did you get hurt from? I have no idea. Uh, I'm really slow. Okay. A anyways. Um. Oh, shark teeth. O okay. I'm assuming it's built right over top of. Yeah, it's, it's built up right over top of a um water biome. Anyways, so oh, look at that thing. It's so ugly. <laughs> Okay, so I got quite a few mods in here. Um, as you can see in the top left corner, when I look over at, uh, at something, it tells me it's health. It's pretty cool, I think. It's called a damage indicator. So when you hit something, it'll actually show how much damage it does. I'm not sure if these things attack back, but see, it's sort of one. When I hit it, that's pretty cool. Um, I also have, as you see, little creatures. That's what these all these animals are from. Um, that's a big mammoth <laughs> elephant, sorry. Um, yeah, that cobblestone structure right there is uh, another uh, mod called um, Castle Defenders. So basically they spawn randomly around the world. And, um... Oh god, that scared me. <laughs> um, so you can see, like, there's an enemy archer. Uh, there's this loot inside there if you want to take them, and they're attacking me. Oh god, <laughs> this is like gonna go well. <laughs> Shit. Oh well, <laughs> that was up to a bad start. Can okay, I turn the um music down? There we go. Sounds like down too. Um, so I also have not enough items. I'm not gonna ask you to spawn. Oops, spawn stuff in. It's more for just for the recipe. Um. That's what I like before, because I have a lot of mods installed, so it's gonna really help me. Oh, this is cool. This is um, I think it's called Asgard Shield. 
What? What just hurt me? I don't know what hit me. Oh, that's that's what it is. Um, I also have a mod called Seasons. So basically, what happens is, uh, there's seasons. So you know, spring, summer, winter, fall. And oh god, I gotta go here. That's why I got hurt. Is because I'm in the snow biome, which is considered also a winter, winter season. And if you don't have any armor on, you freeze to death from frostbite. So that's a lot of damage. That's really cool, I think. Um, I'll go back to get that night spawner later. There's also mercenary outposts just to, to add just randomly spawn. You can go hire the mercenaries for some gold, and they follow you around. Um, so basically, I'm gonna go. What the hell? They shouldn't be floating. I think it's just a glitch. I hope it's just a glitch. Um, so what this is is it's a guild, and you go in there and you basically you earn gold coins by killing monsters and once you get a certain amount you go talk to the guild master and you can build your own kingdom and you recruit guys and build all these cool structures and the whole trading system is evolved um, that's kind of adding a whole kind of um, end goal to the mod uh, I don't want to explore too much because I want to play a good playthrough a mod of the survival playthrough with my friend, but um, he's not on right now, and I just want to test all of this out before, you know, see if all is compatible and stuff, and it looks pretty good, I think, I mean, oh yeah, it's the shield, so there's basically another, that's another mod too, I'll get back to that in a second, um, basically there's shields, uh, and these really big swords that can block, block pretty much, right, so if a skeleton shoots at you, it can, it can block it. I'll just follow one in to show you. If you right-click, see, oh, right about the, um, that's the third thirst bar, actually, I've been away, but I don't really care about that. Um, there's a block, you can you block for so many seconds, and it will block, basically, um, attacks, because there's a fucking giant sword, excuse my language. Um, that's really good, and it's, oh, it's, well, it's a strong sword, um, this is one very top of water bottle or something. Look at that fish. <laughs> okay, I'm good with that. Um, so yeah, they block attacks. Same with the shields. So the sh wooden shield has a special part, weakness of fire damage. Um, the even though this is which one? Stone, iron. Sorry, the iron is explosive resistant, and the diamond is projectile reflection, so it reflects the. Uh, arrow back, right? However, the diamond still does block explosion, as well as the swords. So if a creeper blows up right in front of you and you're blocking, you are good to go. And this guy is just up in my face. Um, these are guild numbers, sorry. So, um, I think these get not implemented yet, but it will get attacked. I'm not sure if they're the guild or just the kingdom. One of those stages. Anyways, they, some mobs do attack. I'm not sure if it's implemented yet. Basically, um, eventually in this mod, this uh, Tale of Kingdoms mod, you'll have to go build an army and go to the nether and fight this basically en end enemy. There will be outposts all around that you're supposed to be on the overworld, supposed to be attacking. Um, I want to go explore all the new dimensions because there is a new dimension in Mo Creatures which has dragons and you can fly on the dragons when you um, get a dragon egg and a hatchet. Um, there's also a dimension in... No, I'm not, I'm not sure if it's like this mod, but there is another dimension I can't remember right now. But then we'll go explore that later. Um, and this this is a cool mod right here called Trust Transporter and basically it's really easy to really easy to make, it's just sticks. It only has one use though, I'm gonna make another one. And basically if you have a chest full of items and they're breaking it and all the items splat over it's really good for chest moving, right? So you right click and it just picks up the chest and puts it down. So um yeah. I also have Belkin's weapon mod which includes like boomerangs and all this cool stuff. Um little creatures um, what else do I have in here? 
I'm gonna have to go mobs, custom mob spawners. Let's just with more creatures though. Um what else do I have? Oh yeah, the thirst mod. So above my hu my hunger bars there is a requirement for thirst. So it's kind of pretty tough to um, find water because I need to find water soon. Um, I think they have a custom. Yes, there it is. So what? Oh no, that's just potions. Nope. I think you can drink water bottles, and they will. You know, so if you ever played Mind Z, it's like sort of like that. Um, jellyfish. Oh, here it is. So fresh water, fresh bucket of water, chocolate milk, uh, milk bottle. Um, all this good stuff. Coins, which is for this mod. I'm pretty sure anyway. Um, yeah. So there's a lot of stuff in this mod I have to explore. This mod pack, excuse me. Um, it'll take a while, but um, I think it's going to be a really fun adventure, and uh, we'll, we'll be adding a lot more mods and removing mods based on balance. You can see my uh, thirst bar went down a little bit, can you see that? Um, yeah, this is okay. See how long. Oh, why is this in the way? I can't, I can't move that. Um, it's kind of in the way. Oh, that works. Uh, Oh. Okay. I'm not a king, but uh, okay. <laughs> Anyways, um, we have to go rescue. Okay, so we got a quest to go help this guy. So he's gonna follow me. I don't know. Are, are you gonna? He just does the same thing. Okay. Um, find the village and save. Well, it's kind of a problem. I don't have weapons, so I don't. No. Oh, this guy got hurt. How'd you get hurt? Maybe he fell off something or something. I don't know. Um, so let's just... I don't know where you just have the quest. Talk to this guy? Oh no, I can't talk to him yet. Basically, once you have enough worthiness, I guess it's called, um, from killing mobs, you can talk to this guy and he helps you build your kingdom. I have his chest. Oh, what does this guy have to offer? Nothing. Um, what's up here? Ooh, almost off that. So there's a blacksmith and a bunch of these guards. Really cool. And when you're in your own kingdom, you can recruit archers, and um, you have to go level them up. Like basically grind. Um, it's gonna take a while for me to get my kingdom because it does take a lot of mob kills. There's a crafting table in this area. Pretty good. And melons for food. For food. Oh. Um, oh, yes, yes. So if you find items in around the world, you can basically drop them in here. Oh, that doesn't work. That worked, okay. So I can do the rest of that Um, so it gives you 29 gold. So now I have 29 gold in the top left corner, you can see. And that is used for buying stuff. So this is like, um, buy food. There's more pages, I think. That's all I guess for now. I don't need much food. I have fish. I should cook it though. I don't need coal or anything. I need to get some resources and get started. Um, so I'll have to explore that village. I need help. Maybe tomorrow because it is nighttime and um, it's more creatures as well. So there's a lot more mobs out there that I'm really unequipped. Let's see if I can buy it. Oh, I think this guy gives bread, doesn't he? Gives some bread. Oh, okay, we got a little bit. So you can get quests from every everybody, I guess. Damage. Okay. Don't know what the word means, but okay. Um, this guy can give me a sword, I think. I'm gonna buy it though. Some sword. 18 gold. That's perfect. I'll buy that. Um, if I, no, I can't buy that. I'm gonna look and gold. Bow. 400, oh my god. <laughs> That's a lot of money. Okay, um, I'm gonna take a weapon to get some money, but, uh, I think what we should do is fight the knight. Not the knight, the knight, like, time, 
I'm not petrol knights in here. Um, what is this? Uh, I hope this is like a target. I think maybe a target range. I don't know. But I need to get some water because I'm gonna die if I don't have water too. Uh, I don't think mobs drop under water. 